Okay, here's a video on a uh, restored traffic signal that I just got finished doing over the last few days. And uh, this is made by a company called uh, Traffic Signal Inc, TSI. And they were out of uh, Shreveport, Louisiana, of all places. Um, and I, I, I kind of uh, did everything possible in this traffic light to make it as nice as I could. This is a, uh, the paint that was done on this is a, uh, Got a gold pinstripe, uh, black and green, and uh, everything's been clear coated. Like God, it's got like ten coats of clear coat on this thing. Um, and uh, you know, I did multiple primers before that. You know, body work, make sure everything's nice and smooth. Um, and I think it came out really good. Hopefully, you can kind of see the finish on the, in the images. I'll show you the back in a second. Uh, these lenses are uh, the original Marble Light glass lenses. I think they're Marble Light. That's what they call them. Here's the green one, the yellow. Okay, and I'm going to show you uh, show you how this works. So there's this little uh, switch here, so you can get inside. And uh, you know, here's the inside of the red lens. You know, everything's done in here as well. The seals are redone. Um, here's the original reflector. And uh, inside of here, you can see the wiring. You know, I this is all new wiring, so I I, I really firm believer in doing that. You know, even the connections inside of these sockets are redone. So I opened these sockets up, re replaced all the electrical wiring parts of this, and, uh, you know, redid the seals here as well. And there's, you know, a fair amount of uh, polishing and uh, metal finishing inside of here as well, paint work. So I'm going to close this back up. There we go. Just a kind of a simple twist turn kind of thing. And uh, I'm going to show you the controller now. So behind this reflector, you can see it here. Here's the controller. Um, so this is a brand new controller, uh, set, all set to go. It has just like a ridiculous number of functions it can do. You can set this to European type uh, traffic signals. You can set it to uh, like a um, you know race car cascading color, uh, red, yellow, green. Uh, off the stoplight kind of thing, uh, but you know this is a, probably the one you want, the U.S. configuration uh, system. And uh, I don't know if you can see it on the bottom here in this controller. There's a, a red, yellow, and green uh, potentiometers. You just turn those with a Phillips screwdriver, and you can adjust the timing of the lights. So if you'd rather have it uh, slower or faster, you can do that. And as far as the different settings, I was talking about a minute ago. There's dip switches for that. And I'll send you the paperwork if you want to change the settings for whatever reason. You probably won't, but in case you do. Um, so I'm going to close this one. And here on the bottom, this is the green one. Again, all new wiring. Uh, everything's nicely organized in a terminal block. All set to go. All right, so let me show you the back of this thing. Spin it around. So this will spin around about two, 270 degrees. Uh, you know, really cool design in the back. Um, uh, you have these little logos of the traffic light on here, uh, on each module, and it's kind of a triangular uh, shape rather than a square shape. So it's really vintage looking uh, and streamlined kind of at the same time. And you got some information here on who the manufacturer was and from where and patent pending, I guess, thing. On the back, um, and uh, I don't know if I showed you this yet or not. Here's the way it mounts to the wall. Um, it's got the spin mount here, and then you have this uh, bracket that goes to the wall. Um, I have these bolts kind of backwards from what you would do. I have them set up for mounting to a crate. Uh, I'm envisioning just these are countersunk, so you can put in countersunk screws here, and it'll be nice and flush. You won't have these ugly nuts like this. You just have screws that mount right to the wall. And you got the same thing on the bottom. And I'll see if we can give you some more detail on, on the back. All right, so I'm gonna step back and kind of show you this in profile. Really cool look. All right, let me spin this back around. Like I said, you can spin this to, I'm imagining you'll know, basically put this in your, your garage or your wherever you wanna place it. And you can spin it to whatever direction is kind of convenient for you. It's really easy to do. Okay, well, like I said, for sale. Um, thanks for checking out the video. 
I can ship this. I'm kind of assuming I'm going to have to ship this, but if you can pick it up in Wisconsin, that's great. Or if you live nearby, potentially it can come to you. Uh, but it is all set up for shipping and I'm, I've done this a lot. Uh, so I know how to ship these right. So oh, great. Thanks. Appreciate it. Uh,